WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. All right, well, it looks like those clouds are still here, but we're starting to notice the rain coming to an end. Just a few more hours of cold and then get ready for the warm air. It returns right in time for your Memorial Day. Starting out with a live look out over toward Baltimore, the Inner Harbor, still dealing with the cloudy conditions out there. We are noticing temperature wise though, 54 degrees out toward Essex, getting ready on into bed. It is cool for you tonight out over toward Chestertown, 53 and 56 in Annapolis. We should see these values fall close to the 40s for us over this evening into early tomorrow morning. And while we're dealing with the cold, so is our friends in a good chunk of the nation. Stretching all the way from North Dakota down toward Texas, you can see Dallas only 71 degrees, push out over toward Georgia and then up to Boston where they're cooler at about 50. That cold air mass looks to stay there for quite a while. The good news though is it looks like Maryland is one of the places that will warm up first and then the rest of the country starts to catch up by the time we get on into Friday. Here's the reason why we've had a rain uh, day, really. The low pressure system now beginning to push off the coastline. That's what brought us the unstable air mass. We're behind it, that counterclockwise flow delivering the cooler northwesterly winds. It's going to slowly, though, fade away. We'll start to notice tomorrow, even though it's a northwesterly wind, we get more sunshine and thus temperatures are going to go back toward our seasonal value, which means they jump almost 20 degrees compared to where they were for today. Then on into our Tuesday, we notice that high pressure system now begins to move out over toward the Atlantic. We're going to switch our wind direction. Now more with a southerly component. Oh, you know what that means, right? We get even warmer with southerly winds because that's where all the warm air is found. So temperatures then going up on into the 80s, although it is going to pull in a little bit more cloud coverage and we start to notice the humidity increasing. Although we are forecast to stay dry at least until we get on into Wednesday night. Let's focus in on those temperatures for you, right? I know you have a lot of maybe uh, bike riding to do. Maybe some hiking, barbecuing, that's obvious, right? So by 7 a.m., remember, it is cool to start things out. You're going to go on out and be like, what is she talking about? It's not warm at all. You'll need that jacket, maybe even the boots with the fur. With temperatures in Bel Air, 52 degrees, parked and waking up at around 51. Now we're in the afternoon and it's somewhat mild into the upper 60s for Columbia, Elkton going for about 65 degrees. When we get on into the five o'clock time frame, we now see our temperatures into the lower 70s. They should peak right around three to four o'clock for us. Fast forward this though on into Tuesday because remember, we get the southerly winds here and that means temperatures jumping up. So no longer are we talking about the 60s at one o'clock. Instead, we have 70s dancing all around the board. Chestertown 72 degrees east and you'll be going for 70. And this is just your lunch hour on Tuesday as we really begin to watch the temperatures go above average starting as early as Tuesday. So until we get the above average heat, we're focusing in on your pool forecast for tomorrow. 11 a.m. Maybe a little cool to go out 65 degrees, but getting into the 70s right around three o'clock and then heading out over toward Ocean City. Temperature is a little bit too cool to jump on into the water, maybe just hang out on the boardwalk. You need to reapply your sunblock. We'll be at an eight for the UV index. Seven day forecast though for you. 75 tomorrow and then the 80s by Tuesday. Kendall. All right, thanks a lot. There was a